Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. This is another day of Volvember. And this is the month that we talk about vaginal health. And this is also um, No Shave November, where we talk about prostate cancer um, awareness for our men as well. But because my audience is primarily women, I'm going to take this month and really, really get into Volvember. And today's topic is going to be the loofah is not your friend. It is definitely not your vagina's friend. And if you ever say, well, what is a loofah? Y'all know these little cute little spongy things that we see in Walmart, the dollar store. And we like, oh, this is going to feel real good up against my skin. I'm going to take and I'm going to put this bath wash and this loofah and I'm about to scrub and I'm about to exfoliate and I'm about to get all of this dead, these dead skin cells off of me. And what we don't realize is this loofah has a breeding ground for bacteria and I'm going to explain why. So first of all, um, when we are washing, we are washing away all of the dirt oil, dead skins, just all of the, the waste, right? When we use this loofah, a lot of times we don't see all of the bends and the folds and the pores. So what this does is, yes, it feels good with the, the, the scrubbing and the scraping, but what it's doing is it is absorbing all of the dirt, all of the bacteria, all of the dead skin cells, okay? So, of course, it, it lathers up good and we, we wash it off. And what we do, we take this little thing and then we hang it in the bathroom. We hang it. Now, we all know that our tubs, bathrooms, these are places that hold moisture, right? And I have my notes, my outline, because I want to make sure I touch on everything, okay? But what we have to understand is this loofah puts us at risk at getting very nasty skin infections even if we take it because we love to exfoliate oh we don't want it got wax so now we about to exfoliate and oh, we we just love the word exfoliate we love it because in our mind it's getting rid of but the thing is we using a lot of scrubs and all of this kind of stuff but sometimes it opens up the pores and it creates a breeding ground for bacteria instead of removing the bacteria okay so one, we know that the loofah is clogged with bacteria, okay? It has a lot of folds and it has a lot of bends and bacteria tends to accumulate with each use. So the first time you use it, it's great. But then here we go the next day, we're trying to use it. But what we don't realize is the dead skin cells and the bacteria from the first use is still in there on the second use. So the second use, you know, it got a little more bacteria. Here we go again. The third day, it's adding to the bacteria. The fourth day, it's adding to the bacteria. And the thing is, no matter how many times we try to clean this and soak this, you can never get rid of the bacteria. It's there, meaning it is living and it's breeding and it's study accumulating day after day after day. So the best thing that you can do is not buy this at all or after your first use, throw it away. They're fairly cheap. Most places you can find them for about a dollar. And you say, well, why are they so cheap? Because they're designed to be disposable. They're designed to be disposable. Okay? All right. Um, loofahs, they never dry completely. Okay? So even after we think that I hadn't used it in a day or so, it still retains moisture. It never completely dries out. It's doing its job to retain moisture. Yeah. So that means that being that it does not completely dry out, we know that moisture does what? Causes bacteria to grow. Which means that even though we can't see it, it can grow. Now, I have even heard what people pick them up and they go to use them and they have a little funky smell to them. They stink. That's because bacteria and now mold has started growing on it okay and a lot of people saying but i clean mine and i wash mine it does not matter i'm giving you the facts about this little loofah here if you use it one time it's a one and done 
Meaning you use it, you scrub, you let them wash your back with it, and you do all your neck with it, and it, it feels good. When you get out the tub, this needs to go in the trash, okay? Another thing that I want to talk about is these body washes. We love Dove. We, we swear by Dove. It does not matter. The sensitive skin, everybody love Dove. Even me, I love Dove. But let me just say this. When you are using these body washes, you want to wash your body, but you do not want to wash your face and you do not want to wash your genital area. Those are the most sensitive parts of your body. The, the skin on your face and the skin on your vaginal area, that, those are sensitive areas. So yeah, we can use this on our arms, our chest, our legs, and then we, we wash it, wash it off, right? But the thing is, we want to use this when we are showering. We don't really want to use this when we're sitting down in the tub because what happens? All of this stuff tends to do what? Get into our vaginal canal. So when you're showering, this is great because it's all going down the drain. But if you're one of them people like me, then you sit down in the water in the tub, then you want to use um, something that's not going to be harsh to your vaginal area. Okay? I always recommend antibacterial soaps. That's what I prefer. Anything antibacterial. All right. Moving on with my notes. I just want to make sure. Oh, what should we be using instead of the loofah? You know it. <laughs> old school, baby. Our old school washcloth. Some people call it a wash rag. Like, you can use our... See, I'm one of the people. I can use this here. Oh, but when I get through with this, I still got to get that rag, baby. I still got to go over my whole body with a washcloth. I don't care how set up this thing is, how set up it had me. In my mind, I ain't clean until I got the rag. I got to soak up a washcloth, and I got to go back over my whole body in order to be clean in my mind. Because see this little cute little thing here? It, it just don't do it. It feel good scrubbing up against my skin, but it don't get the job done, in my opinion. Because I know some people only use these little things. But I, I, I got to get that high rate, okay? I got to be able to get in areas and all of this kind of stuff. And a lot of times we don't realize it. You know, we scrubbing this, right, to exfoliate, right? When we scrubbing, we're doing that to remove bacteria, dead skins, all this kind of stuff. But at the same time, we scrubbing, we opening up pores, well, if this is loaded with bacteria and we opening up pores, what you think happening? This is where we getting all these bumps. This is where we getting all of these uh, balls. This is where we getting all of these um, little white heads that you're squeezing and the white pus come out. You're wondering why you keep having these reoccurring issues and it's directly related to some of the things that you're doing. Just not even knowing it. Okay. So, that's going to wrap it up, y'all. The loofah is not your friend. Y'all not friends, okay? This is a one and done, meaning that they are fairly cheap. You get them for about a dollar or so, even with sponges, because I didn't bring a sponge. But we all know sponges hold moisture and bacteria. And yeah, it may feel good up against the skin and all of that, but that kind of stuff, it does not help you. Get you a good old-fashioned wash rag, a washcloth, because y'all don't like to call it a rag. I'm old school. It's a rag to me. Get you a good washcloth, something that you can put in the washer that you can actually bleach. I like white washcloths because I like to be able to bleach them to make sure that I'm killing all of the bacteria. Because a lot of times people don't realize it. Y'all get all these cute colorful things. You can't put no bleach or nothing on it. And sometimes you're not necessarily killing the bacteria. And that's just the truth. Okay. So that's going to be my, my, that's going to wrap this up. Okay. The sexual health and wellness part. And of course, we're going to get to our toy, which is the Bang Bullet. Okay, 28 speeds. 28 speeds. It is wireless. This is the charger that goes to it. People say it didn't come with a charger. No, it didn't come with the block that goes in the wall. It came with a charger. You have to use your block from your cell phone or you could charge it up on your computer. Anything that takes USB. You could charge it up. You could charge it up in your car. You can charge it up pretty much anywhere, okay? So, 28 speeds. Yes, it does come with the cock ring. People say the cock ring don't fit. Baby, look, if you stretching out bigger than this hill, I don't want it. I don't want it at all. But, of course, the bullet can go in the cock ring. As you can see, I'm working it on in. Working it on in. There you go. Now we got a 28-speed cock ring, Okay. 
Okay, suppose you don't want to use the cock ring. He ain't there tonight. Or your husband working late. Or whatever is going on to where he is not available. Well, sister, don't worry about it. We could take it and we could slide it in the finger vibrator. And now you got your finger that you've turned into a 28 speed vibrator. Or if you're like me and you are a rider, you could take this little finger vibrator. You could stimulate the nipples. You could stimulate your nipples because I done already told y'all my nipples is where it's set for me. Okay. You can reach back. You can stimulate them nuts. Yes, honey. Yes, 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 yes. It's so much that you can do. Yes, you could take this and play all in his head with it while you riding the thing. Because y'all know, I tell y'all, when you riding, you better scratch his head. What? Ride his dick and what? Suck his finger all at the same damn time. What? You say, how, Sharonda? You scratching his head, baby. You riding his dick and you sucking his finger all at the same time. That's some amazing shit right there. Mm -hmm. But you heard it here at the PPG store from who? Your Auntie Sharonda Parker. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you like this Bang Me kit, it is on the website listed below. www.theppgstore.com You all be blessed. You all continue to like, share, and subscribe. And continue to utilize this knowledge. I don't come here every day and do this for you to tell me, yeah, I watched the video. I'm learning. Are you learning it? But are you, uh, Okay, it's one thing for you to learn. Because I hear people tell me all the time, I'm in a grocery store, I'm here to the other. Oh, I'm listening, I learn it. Oh, are you applying it? Are you doing it? Are you doers? Because y'all have people that go to church and hear the word, but do you do it? Okay? Do you do it? Now, let me get on this here before I end. Oh, y'all, it comes with a remote control too. So I forgot to tell y'all that that is another feature that it has. So you can operate this wirelessly from the remote control, meaning that you could take this bullet, put it in the panties, and now you can turn your regular panties into vibrating panties. So much stuff that you could do. But let me let me say this, because there has been a lot of people that, that are feeling some type of way about uh, the comment that I made about the Summer Walker album. I'm one of those people... I protect my peace at all times, okay? I have learned to not dibble and dabble with things that shift my mood, okay? Follow me. I, like everybody else, have experienced so much in life. Hurt, people that I love, just like everybody else, right? But if I have grown from that and I have forgiven people and I have moved forward, right? Me, myself, and I personally, I'm not going to subject myself to listen to something that's going to take me back to a bad place. I'm not going to listen to something that triggers me because I know that a lot of us possess the emotion of anger, hurt, and frustration. I have literally positioned myself to where I know that those emotions exist, but I don't allow them to take root in me. Okay? In other words, there are things that could go on that will make me angry, right? But just because I'm angry, because, you know, a lot of times people don't understand. God, God never told us that we couldn't get angry. We have the emotion of anger, but the thing is we don't act on it. See, I'm not going to allow it to take root in me to where I act on it. Okay? So I have to be mindful, and I think a lot of you need to take this advice. Be mindful and guard your eyes and your ears and pay attention to the things that you're feeding yourself. Because a lot of times you can't get right because... You want to dibble and dabble and play in it. And, and it's taking you back to memory lane about the fourth baby mom. And it's taking you back to memory lane about how bitter you are. And it's taking you back to memory lane of all of the things that this person did to you and all of this kind of stuff. I don't, my thing is I have the mind to go forward. I have the mind to go forward, to stay focused, to keep my eye on the prize. I don't have a mind to want to keep going back and revisiting things that were painful to me. And that hurt me. So for those of you all like me, myself, who are grown women, who have really grown up and who do not want to be in this old jacked up headspace, then 
I urge you not to even entertain it. I do. I urge you not to entertain it. If you didn't move forward and you're not there and you're trying to be better every day, then I urge you not to even entertain it. And the people who want to listen to it and who want to be upset and who want to man bash and have all of the negative things in the world, let them have at it. But as wives, as grown women, we're supposed to be different. We're supposed to set a different type of standard for ourselves. And anything that disrupts my peace, I don't want no parts of it. Okay? All right. That's all I got to say about that. Y'all be blessed because, you know, a lot of people want to say the Sierra prayer and want to pray and send this and correct him and do this and do that. But I just think that sometimes we got to look at ourselves. See, one thing about me, I ain't never trying to force nothing on nobody else. I ain't never trying to change nobody else. I ain't never trying. It's all about me. Because I think that when the change come in me and, a, and the better version of me show up at all times, even if you acting a fool, if the best version of me shows up, then you're going to be acting a fool by yourself because you're not going to pull me in there with you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Because a better version of me that showed up. So that means instead of this thing escalating and getting out of control, because a better version of me showed up, this whole situation has been de-escalated. All right, that's all I got to say. Y'all be blessed.